Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So we are in the middle of the FabFitFun Summer 2021 add-ons and box, box customizations. And I have to say I'm pretty excited because I'm liking this a lot more than the spring add-ons and box customizations. So I am going to be doing my video as usual where I record my computer screen and I show you my cart and I go through the add-on sale and I talk about as much as I can possibly remember about the products that are available in the sale. Hopefully I can help you make some decisions. Please do if you have any clarifications or corrections leave a comment in the comments below i would love that i don't claim to be an expert i will be doing my box customization choices in a separate video so be on the lookout for that my lights flickering suddenly and i hope that that's not really annoying in the video sorry about it if it is but anyway so first before i get into it i wanted to point out that these are the nectar blue light blockers if you're looking at those in the box customizations and then also in my hair i have used this the living proof intense moisture mask and then i used the living proof nourishing styling cream so my hair is insanely long right now from quarantine it's like down to my waist belly button but anyway i think you can get a good look at it it's not like super crazy amazing but i do like the way it makes my hair feel and i like that my hair is touchable i have very curly hair and um, i mean it's weighed down because it's so long right now but i like that my hair is touchable and like it moves <laughs> sometimes with curly hair products. They can be really like heavy and kind of sticky and it makes your hair feel like it doesn't move as freely. Like you don't, like you can tell you have product in your hair basically. So I wanted to point those things out before I get into recording my computer screen. So this is going to be the add-ons review video as well as what's in my cart. And then, like I said, be on the lookout for a separate video for box customizations. It should be out very soon after this one. Okay, so let's get into recording my computer screen. Okay, so here we are in my computer screen and this is my cart. I have it down to $50 um, and I'll talk about the jewelry soon, but uh, I first I have the type A deodorant. This is aluminum free, toxin free deodorant that works really well. I have gotten a chance to use it and I'm gonna be needing deodorant probably around the time that this box would arrive so it's perfect and I figured I would just grab these and then I have decided that I always want to try to donate a few bucks to whatever charity they're supporting so I threw in three dollars for the Make-A-Wish Foundation and then let's talk about the jewelry if you have been watching my videos for a while you're probably laughing at me because I always bash the jewelry but I am considering these because these prices these sale prices are actually pretty good for the quality that this jewelry is. This jewelry is, you know, gold plated brass or gold plated, plated cheap metal. So they're super cheap. They're made in China. I don't think that they're at all worth the regular price that is always listed, but for $11, these I think is a decent price for $11. That's not bad. It's the same price that you would find this kind of quality jewelry on Amazon for, which I have been actually. I have, I think, a necklace that looks almost exactly like this herringbone one in my Amazon save for later. So it is um, awesome. And I think the one in my Amazon cart might be like $12 or $13. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. I, I like it. I, I like that style necklace. And then the same goes for the other pieces. I have some gold hoops in my save for later in my Amazon cart because I've been wanting to try to just explore wearing gold. I've always worn silver and I want to see how it looks on me and how I like it. So I wanted to buy a couple of cheap gold pieces of jewelry and that's where this is kind of stemming from. So I am probably going to grab these hoops as well. Same, you can find similar prices on Amazon for this stuff. And then, um, and then this, I thought this was kind of cute, so I think I will probably grab this too. Same deal, cheap materials, made in China, you can find this kind of stuff on Amazon um, for similar prices. So I am probably going to spring for this, I might double check Amazon and see what I think because of course with Amazon there's always the option to return, um, or at least there usually is, just you have to make sure that there is. So that's what's in my cart. It was really hard to get it down this low. I'm actually really liking the summer add-ons and the summer 
uh, box, uh, which is great because I wasn't a big fan of the spring add-ons or the spring box. I actually skipped the spring box. So that's what's in my cart. We're going to head over to the sale and I'm going to run through and tell you what I know about each of the products that are available now. So the first thing here is the Unhide Blanket. This is super, super well loved. I have two of them just from them being choices in boxes. I haven't purchased one in a sale. I actually don't love it as much as other people do. It is really, really soft. Um, the thing that I don't like is that I do wish it was bigger. It's not that big. It's not something that I would ever want to sleep with. Um, so the dimensions are here, 50 by 60. So it's not even, uh, what is that, 4 feet by almost 5 feet or so, something like that. I might not so quick math. I probably a little bit off there, but it's not that big. And what I really, really dislike about it, and I'm going to try to describe it, is that it's basically like, two square pieces of material that are sewn together at the edges so it doesn't maintain its flat shape like a blanket should the the two pieces of material kind of move around and it doesn't yeah it really bothers me um i don't know if that makes sense the way i described it but it's it's a really really soft cozy blanket but i don't think that it's as amazing as maybe you've heard on other YouTube videos or uh, read in the forum or whatever. Um, also, this is uh, Unhide is a brand that was founded by Ellen DeGeneres. I, I don't know if she still owns it and runs it, but I do know she was involved somehow. And some people um, are really turned off by her with all the rumors about how mean she is. So there's that. I, um, I don't really know personally if she's mean or not. You know, rumors start and then they spread like wildfire. But that's just something that somebody has mentioned as well. Um, so the spongels, these are really well loved too. I don't, I have no interest in them, but if you are interested in them, people talk about them all over the forum. You can go check out the forum, the FabFitFun forum, which is right here. I love lurking in the forum. There are a bunch of really awesome, helpful, um, women in there. And you go to the homepage, this is the homepage, and you hover over community, and then you click on forum, and it will take you here, and you can either start a new sponge gel thread. These are all the threads on the right-hand side. Leave me alone. These are all the threads on the right-hand side, and I follow a lot of them. Um, one that I'm following right now for this sale is the summer add-on reviews thread. I'll link it in the description box below. Um, and you can go on and you can make a post with, they have this poll feature. You can make a poll about like which scents you might want to try from Spongel. People love Spongel, at least the people who talk about them. Some people do say that initially it's quite rough, the sponges, and so they'll use it on their feet first and then they'll use it on their body once it softens up. But that's what I have to say about sponge gels. I do, I always said that I thought that they were a little wasteful, but um, I do have a good friend who's on, a good uh, subscriber friend who, she says that she re reuses them um, in her plants, when she pots plants, I think, as a way to, I don't really know, <laughs> but she reuses them with her plants. Okay. Um... So I, I try my darndest to only buy cruelty free, so I steer clear of Dr. Brandt. Dr. Brandt is a really well-loved brand though, and I know when I first joined FabFitFun, I believe it was this product that people were raving about. Um, but then when I looked into it at that time, I learned that Dr. Brandt's not cruelty free. So I decided not to ever get anything from Dr. Brandt. So I haven't tried anything from Dr. Brandt. I like to check if something's cruelty free. I like cruelty free kitty. And this is the website. And so they used to have a little search tool right on the homepage, but they changed their website. So I think you have to click here. And so if you were to go to Dr. Brandt, um, there it is. Yeah, Dr. Brandt is not cruelty free. So if you're interested in learning about that, um, this is the resource that I use to find out. Um, okay, so let's move on. Um, people say good things about Whoopery that it is very, very effective. 
spray it into your toilet before you go poo and then it supposedly makes it much less smelly um i have used a lot of design me products i've loved some and then i'm using one a detangler that i don't love i haven't tried this one the detang detangler is okay but um i don't love it as much as some of the other stuff of theirs that i've used a lot of sponge gel stuff i have luxie brushes i think i even have this set yeah, I have this set, and they're good brushes if you're looking for brushes. Um, okay, I have a corksicle from one of these sales. I think it was 19 when I got mine, um, and it's a good quality, you know, um, water bottle. Good quality. Uh, I have this, and I'm actually currently using it, the Living Proof Intense Moisture Moisture Mask, and I. I really like Living Proof. I like Living Proof a lot. This isn't my favorite hair mask of theirs. Their Restore hair mask, I think, is just amazing. It's the best hair mask I've ever used. This hair mask, I feel like, is okay, honestly. And I have frizzy, curly hair. Um, I'm not sure how, how I can explain why I feel that way. So it smells great. Their products all smell great, fresh, salon quality um, scent. But... I guess I feel like when I put it in in my hair and I wash it out, I don't have, it doesn't, my hair doesn't feel like I've just put in a really nice mask, but that could be actually because this is silicone free. This is a silicone free hair mask. So if you're doing curly girl, this would be for you for sure. And I, I, you know, I'm feeling my hair right now and I used this and then I used the no frizz styling cream and I'm loving the way my hair feels right now. So maybe I do like it more than I'm realizing. I just, you know, that feeling when you rinse a hair mask out in the shower and it feels like your hair is like nice and silky. You don't get that feeling, but it's occurring to me actually, as I'm talking it out right now, that that's probably because it's silicone free. Um, Okay, so it is a good hair mask. <laughs> My hair feels great right now. Uh, and then, um, let's see. Oh, this, I, I used this. I didn't like it. I wasn't impressed. Actually, by the time I was done with it, I thought it was fine. I wouldn't buy it again, ever. Um, at first, when I used it, I didn't like it. It did nothing nothing to impress me with my hair. It, I didn't feel like it made my hair worse. And also, I wasn't a fan of the scent. I think it was the shampoo smelled okay, but there was something like almost spicy about the conditioner or vice versa. I didn't love the scents. I didn't love using it. I wouldn't recommend it, but I have seen good reviews. It's available on Ulta. I think it has a good four solid stars. So if you wanted to go check out what some other people have said, you could go check out the Ulta reviews. This, I still have yet to use this. I bought this and I think I'm a little shy to try it. I don't know why, um, but it is for um, sexy time and apparently it is amazing and it makes it, makes sex just so much more pleasurable for the woman. <laughs> maybe, excuse me, maybe for the man too. I don't know. I haven't heard accounts from men. Um... I have a Green Goo Dry Skin Salve Tin that I bought, and I thought I would get a lot of use, to the, about, of use out of it. They are really well raved about, and I don't ever use it. It just sits. So that was my experience with the Green Goo. I have the Cocoa Floss. Uh, this is really, really well loved. Floss, the marketing gimmick is kind of like fun it's supposed to be make it fun so that you will want to floss more um the floss is a little bit thick so if you have really teeth like that are really close together it's it's thicker so you might not like it i have close together teeth so um i'll use it but it's not it didn't make flossing as fun as i would hope it hoped it would i don't know what what it is about flossing but i just can't get myself to do it uh let's see what else People say really, really great things about Laundress. I haven't used it. Um, some people were talking about Fakai uh, products in the forum. I've never used any of it, but uh, some people were excited to see it. 
Uh, somebody pointed out that this SPF is only 18 on this Kula sunscreen. SPF 18 is really, really low. Yeah, oh, it says it. it's really small. You can see it right there, SPF 18. So that's not a very high SPF. I mean, I've seen it recommended that you want at least 30. So I don't know when you would use that. It, it's not even effective. Okay. Anyway. Um, oh, and I so want to buy the Laura Geller transfer proof lipstick. This was really hard for me to delete from my cart. Um, I am a sucker, sucker for long lasting transfer proof lipsticks. And I've been impressed with some Laura, Ger Laura, Laura Geller products that I've tried, but I dumped it because I went and I looked at all my lipsticks and I thought I don't need another stinking lipstick or lip product for like my the rest of my life, really. Um, okay. Uh, Kula Organic Mineral Sunscreen. This might be really good. Anyway, I don't know anything about it, um, but I, I didn't really, they overlooked it last time I looked at the products and sale. Um, I have this from a different box and I don't think I have this color. Maybe I do. I don't, I don't know what color I have anyway, but I like it. It is not transfer proof. It does last a good while. It does feel really good. Um, and that's about it. It's not transfer proof, which I, I'm so obsessed with as far as lipsticks are concerned. So I don't really reach for it for that reason, but it's a good lipstick. Somebody, I think two people on the forum pointed out that this apparently is a really, really great nail polish, uh, just the brand in general. So I am, I'm also a sucker for nail polishes and it's really hard for me not to add it, but I went and looked at all my nail polishes and I was like, you don't need any more nail polishes. Um, this styling cream, the Living Proof Styling Cream is excellent. It's really, really good. Um... This is a small bottle, four ounces. Uh, but anyway, it's really, really good. I do recommend the Living Proof Styling Cream. Living Proof is owned by Unilever, and Unilever is not cruelty free, but Living Proof is. I don't know if you want to do the, the cruelty free thing or not, but just FYI, Living Proof is a brand that I make an exception for. I try not to buy from brands that are even owned by bigger brands that aren't cruelty free, but with Living Proof, I've just never found anything that worked so well in my hair. I have not seen good reviews about this sunscreen, um, just that it goes on thick. It doesn't, mineral sunscreens don't really tend to uh, absorb well, but some do better than others, and this one doesn't really absorb well. It just leaves a film and doesn't I have not seen good reviews about this um, tinted sunscreen. Uh, okay. Uh, people were saying good things about the Ahava body lotion. There was kind of a debate on the forum about Ahava or Grown Alchemist, which should I get? Most people voted Grown Alchemist, but some people said really nice things about the Ahava. I like the Ahava brand, but I, they are recently no longer cruelty free. Um, so. That was a bummer, but I do I do think that they have uh, nice quality products. Let's see more Luxy brush brushes. As I said, they make they make nice brushes. Well, seventy five dollar value on that one. Wow. Um, okay, Ilya, I I I'd like this brand. Just I think that they look so clean and nice and. I haven't used too much of their stuff. I just like the look of their brand and their um, their super clean brand, and they're available at Sephora. Um, more laundress. Let's see, what do I know about? Somebody said that this cleanser was really nice, and I've used the moisturizer, the Atmosphere moisturizer from Osha, and I really, really liked it. Somebody said that this was a good moisturizer if you like milky, um, not moisturizers, sorry. This is a good cleanser if you like milky cleansers, which I do, I like milky cleansers. So tempted to get it, but again, you go and you look at your stock and you realize, oh my gosh, 
I have so much of that thing. I don't need to buy any more. Um, this apron is adorable. I have two adorable aprons, so I don't need to buy it, but it is so, so cute. I had it in my cart. And then, and then I'll keep it in my cart because I'm like, well, it's a good gift. And I don't, I have a closet full of gift boxes, boxes full of, you know, gifts from things. So I had to go and remember to look at my stash. Okay. Um, what else? More Dr. Brand. This, uh, Daily Concepts, your wrap, uh, your body towel wrap. Uh, I have one. It was sent to me by a good friend and it stays on well. Oh, this one has a Velcro closure. The one that she sent me has buttons. And it's, you know, it's not the most luxurious towel, but it's a good towel and it's nice because it stays up while you are doing your hair or your makeup or what, what, whatever you do while you, when you get out of the shower before you get dressed. Um, okay. What else? Oh, I bought this Gloss Me by Design Me, and I liked it. I love hair oils like this one. This is the kind that you pump into your hand and then you rub into your hair. Um, I was pregnant at the time that I used it, so I don't know, but I didn't like the smell so much. It smelled like, it smelled floral to me, and I, I don't love a lot of floral, especially if it smells like roses. But again, I was pregnant at the time, and I know other people who bought it, based on the fact that I recommended it, um, liked it a lot. And I actually sent this to a friend, the same friend who sent me the body towel, body the towel that I just talked about. Um, anyway, I sent it to her, and she said she does like it, so... People like that one. Um, Hand Skin is a great K-Beauty line. People on the forum were saying that it's a, one of the awesome K-Beauty lines before K-Beauty uh, that was that was around before K-Beauty became popular. <laughs> I, I haven't tried this product in particular. I love their essence, their Hyaluronic Skin Essence. It's great. Let's see what else. I have this, the Luxme Pure Nilotica Melt. It is pure shea butter. So I actually don't find it to be super moisturizing, um, depending on what you use it for. You know, if you're going to... Oh, this has actually different. This isn't... I don't know that this is pure shea butter. The one that I have is. So this could be different. Never mind. Scratch that. Scratch that. Luxme is a very sustainable brand. Um, the woman who founded it actually died of cancer uh, about a year, a little over a year ago. And she's my age. I'm 38. It was really wild. Somebody I work with was really good friends with her father and had known her since she was a baby. Anyway, um, Paracone MD. So there are some people that really tear this brand apart and talk about how Dr. Paracone doesn't know what he's doing and that their products are overpriced crap. I don't know. I've never used any of them, uh, but that's just what I have heard. So, but then I see people saying they love Paracone MD stuff. So go figure. More Dr. Brandt. I talked about Dr. Brandt. I have seen a lot of people say that this truly clear blemish bar is very effective on um, uh, blemish prone skin. Oh, I this is the exfoliate. People love this and then I'm in the minority. I used it. I didn't like it so much. It's pretty intense. It feels like it also has chemical exfoliate exfoliants in it oh yeah lactic acid i felt like it had more oh yeah fruit uh, papaya so that would be another enzyme for chemical exfoliation salicylic acid so this is kind of a heavy hitter i, I felt it really tingle when i put it on my face um and then the exfoliating beads are very fine and a lot of them and so you get a good physical exfoliation as well and so it, that, there's a reason it's called intensive exfoliating treatment. It is intense. And then it's like this dark green color. And then the smell smelled spicy, kind of like, um, I think it was like nutmeg or something. So I didn't find it 
particularly enjoyable to use. But again, I'm in the minority. People really like it. Uh, let's see, what else do I know anything about? This Sterling Forever brand, I feel like I remember seeing that, okay, it is made out of Sterling Silver. So that's good. That's, that's jewelry I can get behind. Sterling Silver. Awesome. Oh, that's cool. You can get your, any letter that you want. I hadn't seen that. I overlooked that last time. Okay. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, the Corez Greek yogurt. People are saying that this has a funny smell. Even people that say they like really love Cora's products, that this one they tried and it just didn't, that it was the smell that got them. They didn't like the way it smelled. And that was not just one person that said that. Here's the other Laura Geller transfer proof lipstick. I want it. I want it so much. <laughs> if you've used it before, Either talk me out of it or talk me into it, please, in the comments below. And if you have anything to add, please put it in the comments below. I love to hear from you. Um, and if you have any corrections especially, I don't claim to know everything. Um, let's see. Oh, here's the Osha Atmosphere Protection Cream. I have used this. I really, really liked it. I got this in a Pediver box, actually, which is a really inexpensive cruelty-free box, and this was included in it, and that was, a, that was a great box just because it had this. And I really enjoyed using it. I used it in the mornings, and it has a very nice, like, botanical herbal smell. Super, super pleasant to use. I really did like it. I don't know if it would wear well under makeup. I remember when I used it, I don't wear foundation really on a regular basis or I only ever wear it on my video in my videos sometimes or to do a, a get ready with me video to play with it. Um, but I don't wear it on a regular basis. So I never tested it, but I remember as I was using it thinking that I didn't think it would well wear well under makeup. It felt like it was kind of a little too thick maybe. But again, I don't know. I don't know. I just remember having that thought. I never tested it, so I probably shouldn't have even said that. Um, okay, let's see. What else do I know anything about? This whole line of Skin & Co. I bought this. I haven't gotten around to using it. I'm still using up the cleansing oil that I had before. Um, and I, I will use this one next. But this whole line on Ulta, uh, this whole Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy line, has really good reviews for almost all of their products. And very, I have a few in line in my stash to use, and I can't wait to use them. Very excited about it. More Paracone, more Dr. Brandt. Okay, I this is a blanket statement I often say about tech things. I would just recommend, unless you know that it's good, you've seen good reviews elsewhere, uh, like a solid amount that make you feel comfortable, I would just look on Amazon for stuff like this. Stuff like, like this especially. Look on Amazon because with Amazon, you can return. It's really, I've heard people get into nightmare return situations or exchange situations when they get faulty products. Um, that said, you know, I've also seen people speak up on the forum saying that they've never had a problem. So who knows, but I just feel like it's a little bit safer to go with Amazon and it's often, you can often find comparable prices on Amazon too. So might as well. Let's see, what else do I know about
<clears throat> people said um, on the forum, the people that said anything said they really like this. One person said it aggravated her rosacea, this dragon's blood mask from Rodeo Beauty. The Kate Spade jewelry, honestly, this just looks like the same kind of crap <laughs> that I was talking about. This retail price actually isn't as offensive as it could be, but I think that they're really just selling the name. They're just selling the name. So this is, it says silver plated metal made in China, $24. I, they're just selling the name. Um, I have this. It's a nice lip gloss. Um, I got it in a trend mood box. I purchased a trend mood box just for fun. Um, it was actually a good box. I liked what I got in it. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, and then the bundles are great if you want at least two of the items and you're okay with trying the third. It, they're good prices. I'm really only this time talking about products that I've actually tried or that I've actually read reviews about those specific products. A lot of times in my videos, I will, if I know anything about the brand, I'll also go into it, but this time I am not doing that. Um, I am 18 weeks pregnant and I'm tired. So uh, the NCLA, people are saying good things about the NCLA, but some people did say on the forum that they were able to find a score this at TJ Maxx sometimes for like a couple bucks. So this price tag right here is pretty high compared to that if you do get a chance to score it at TJ Maxx instead. Um, I remember this uh, was a choice in the fall box. Fall, I want to say maybe last summer even um, and this is their signature their signature uh, bag I got the tote when they had it available and it's good quality but it is in my gift pile I may bring it out once the um, once the quarantine is lifted and we're all back to normal I could see me using it for work actually um, People say really good things about the holy frog stuff in general it is pricey cleanser but they say good things. Better be good because it's so pricey. Um, okay. Um, people are saying good things about the bread stuff. Um, and from what I can tell, it's for very, very curly hair. Probably for African hair more than uh, white hair. <laughs> uh, or European, I guess I would say. But... Um, because it says you can see for curl types 3A to 4C. That's why I'm saying that. And if you look up curl types, you'll see um, a graph. Let's see if I can. Curl pattern chart. So it's for 3A to 4C. Um, so you can see here 3A. Oh, actually, I'm 3A. So it would work for my hair. I might be even 3B. But so it's for 3A to 4C. So it's for it's for everyone. It's for all ethnicities, but it's geared toward very curly hair. So I would be tempted to buy that, but I also have plenty of uh, shampoo and conditioner and whatnot. So I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Maybe if it's in a sale in the future, I'll give it a try. I wonder if it's curly girl friendly. Here's the conditioner. I would know better if I looked at the, um, I don't see any silicones. I don't do curly girl though. So, um, I, I don't need to do curly girl. I found that for me, their rules are too strict. I don't need to do it all. Uh, Let's see, what else do I know? Okay.
This bag was pretty good quality. It was in maybe the spring box. Not this last spring, but the spring before. And I gave it to my mother-in-law as a gift. And she liked it. She likes it a lot. Um, Draper James. I think Draper James was the brand that was founded by Kristen Cavallari. Or is that how you say her name? She was in The Hills, I think. The Hills or Gossip Girl? I think The Hills. I didn't watch either of those things, so that's why I'm not sure. And then I always say a blanket statement about clothes, too, is that a lot of them look great. I've seen a lot of people say they have really great luck with the clothes, but I just prefer to go to TJ Maxx and try stuff on. Um, for me, with my body type, it just, you never know what's going to look good on me. <laughs> so I have to go in and try it on. Some of my some of my proportions are a little disproportioned, if that, if that if makes sense. Um, okay, here's the, oh, milky hair cleanser. Yeah, okay, so I bet this is, I bet this is curly girl friendly. I don't see any, uh, I don't see any silicones. I don't know what, I don't forget, I forget the other forbidden ingredient in the curly girl method, but... This would be really, this could be, I am very intrigued by this actually. I don't love the packaging. Okay. Again, I could tell you some about the brands that I'm seeing, but not the specific products. So I'm not going to go into background on the brands like I usually do in this video. Furniture type stuff. I am seeing people say positive things about the lamps at least that they've gotten um and this is i mean this is a really cheap rug this is a this is a cheap rug if you just want a cheap rug <laughs> that is really inexpensive oh my gosh um okay the foxy bay tools i do tend to see uh positive things said about the foxy bay tools But again, I mean, with those kinds of things, I just feel like try to get it somewhere where you can return it. Although I got my hair hair straightener from a FabFitFun sale. I got one of the new me ones, and I love it. But it had a lot of good reviews. So. I don't tend to get accessories. Again, those kind of fall under the electronics for me where I feel like I could just find it on Amazon for a comparable price where I know I can return it. Oh, these are super fun, the Glitter Flip Liquid Lips from Ciate, but just know that they're insanely glittery. glittery. You can't see it in these pictures. They are really glittery, really glittery. I bought a set and I don't know when I'll ever wear it. I mean, maybe in my 20s at like New Year's parties or something, but I don't know when I'll ever wear them now. I should just get get rid of them, give them away. I should do a lip lipstick, lip color, lip lip product declutter. I think it, I think it's time. More accessories, more jewelry. I already kind of said my. Like I said, blanket statements on those. Hmm. I'm really going a long stretch here with 
without having anything to say. I do like, I haven't used these, but I do recommend blue light blockers. This is a pricey pair of blue light blockers and there are, there's a pair available in customizations, but I do recommend them. I find them to be very helpful. Especially if you're looking online late at night and you need to go to bed, need to go to bed. I find when I'm wearing them, I'm, it's much easier for me to tear myself away from the screen. I'm not as hypnotized by what I'm looking at. I get tired and I want to turn the screen off. This is cute. That's really pretty. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know anything about tanning stuff, so don't ask me. <laughs> We're really in the land of electronics and accessories, so, and clothes. So I already said what I think of those. That's why I guess I have nothing to say. This, I do have something to say. This is apparently a really, really good flat iron, and it's used in salons in the UK. People are really saying good things about this on the forum. They're saying like you can never, you never see it for a price this good. Yeah, um, people seem to be really excited to see it in the uh, in the forum. I am tempted, but mine mine's decent enough. I think. I mean, I bet if I used it, I would be wowed and never look back. But I don't know what's so great about it. Because one person did say, say a con is that it only has one temperature setting, which is 375, but that um, supposedly that's the healthiest and most effective heat to use on your hair anyway. This blazer is cute for work. I would totally wear that to work. $69. Um, okay, now we're into the out of stock items. I have this Daily Concepts headband, and I have it in pink, and I like it, and it fits my head, which is amazing because I have an unusually large large head, but what's weird is that there are women on the forum saying that they don't have an unusually large head, but it doesn't fit their head, so I don't know what's happening there. Maybe the back of my head's really large or something in it, and the other part isn't. I don't know, because hats don't fit me. Um, people said that this is a good, decent chaps. Dick, they have an anti-bullying um, message. This hand cream's not terribly mind-blowing. I didn't think so. It was in a box. So I got it in a box. It smells like coconut. Um, I think it smells like sweet, sweet sugar, but when I wear it, my husband say it says I smell like coconut, so I don't pick up on the coconut. It's so funny how people pick up totally different things. Um, oh, it has fragrant notes here. Fragrance notes here. I don't smell any of these things. Coconut, peach, jasmine, floral, amber, and lemon. I don't smell any of those things. I just smell sweet, sweet candy sugar when I wear it. Um, and I don't think it's the most moisturizing that I've ever used. Not nearly. Um, okay, let's go. Let's move on. These Mighty Patches, there's a reason they're out of stock. They're really well loved. For me, they don't work on those kind of under the skin zits. It needs to be like a white head that's ready to come out uh, but some people say that, that it does actually work for them on the harder zits to deal with um, and then they do have different patches for different things these might be the ones these might be the ones that are better on the other kinds of zits I was talking about that aren't like at the forefront and ready to be extracted yeah, I don't I don't know too much about either, all the different kinds, but they're well loved and uh, apparently very effective. Okay, so I have used the AG fast food conditioner uh, many times, and it's a good leave-in conditioner. Uh, I think it has silicones in it, so if you don't like silicones, 
yeah, it has silicones. Yep, it does. Um, so if you don't like that, then you would steer clear. I do think this smells a little strange. It smells a little bit like a little bit, a hint of cough syrup. Uh, it's okay. It's not a terrible smell, but that's, I just pick up a hint of cough syrup when I use it. Um, it makes my hair, hair feel very soft. Um, and it's a good leave-in conditioner. I do like it. Um, yeah. And I think that they donate some of their proceeds to education for girls in Africa. I'm, I'm fairly certain. But if, if that's not exactly it, it's something along those lines. Uh, I like the Wish brand. They also have, um, they're very good with their, let's see, paraben-free, sulfate-free, phthalate-free, DEA, and TEA, petrochemical, cruelty-free, leaping bunny certified. Um, I don't know about anything about this product though, but I was just, just, I said I wasn't going to say anything about brands, but there you go. Uh, one person said that they loved this brush and that they don't know what they ever did without it and can never live without it. That's what was said. I will never get a mystery bundle again. <laughs> I have gotten three or four and I've been disappointed every time. People are saying wonderful things about the attitude sheets and towels. This is the Hand Skin Hyaluron. Oh, this isn't the skin essence. This is an exfoliating, a chemical exfoliating. So this is a, has hyaluronic acid and glycolic and lactic acid. Ooh, I bet that's really good. I don't need it. I don't need it at all. But I bet this is really good. I would love to try that. That's awesome. Okay. So these, the Living Proof No Frizz Instant Defrizzer, I have this, I got it at TJ Maxx, and it's basically, um, it's, it's an aerosol, it has hydrofluor, it has HFCs in it, so it, it has a constant spray, which is a little bit weird, it has alcohol denat in it, which I feel like is supposed to be, isn't that supposed to be the drying alcohol? I don't know, it's kind of weird. It has silicones, it has... Um, so I love, I love Living Proof, as I said, I don't love this product, and it's also, it's basically, when you spray it, it is one of those, uh, continuous spray, spray dry oils, which I, I feel like I'm gonna die when I use any of those, not just this one, and I didn't realize that that's what this was when I bought it, but it is, it, I just, like, within one or two seconds, I feel like I'm gonna suffocate and die, it is so intense, and I don't know how anybody uses this so I don't I don't have anything to say about the way the product actually performs because I couldn't stand it I would need to wear a mask or a gas mask when I use it so that is my problem with it I much prefer oils that you can just pour into your hand I love hair oils but I cannot stand the spray oils I can't stand it um, and I thought I thought hydrofluorocarbons were banned. Maybe there's a different. I don't know much about it. I just know that I remember that from when I was a child. But maybe there's something less harmful about this one. I don't know. That that's interesting. I'll have to research that. But um, and then I feel like this is supposed to be a really drying alcohol. But I could be wrong there too. I didn't obviously do my research before filming this, but that's my, that's my take on that. I don't love that one from Living Proof. Okay, let's go. Let's move on. <laughs> Oh, people are saying that these toning drops are really, really good. Um, one person said, watch out because they can stain if you drip them on your countertop or something. But people were saying good things about those toning drops in the form for blonde hair. I don't love Co. I think there have been one or two. I've tried several of their products and then one or two I have thought were good. And my husband has one that I got him that he really loves. Um, I haven't used this one in particular, but just Aranco's are a hit and miss for me, especially because they're very adventurous with their scents, their fragrances, I feel. And sometimes it's just like, woof, what were they thinking with the fragrance of this one? Okay, let's see what else. Oh, this is... Um, 
my mother has these and I ended up buying them from a previous sale because of that. Um, this is misspelled. They did it again. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, and it's supposed to keep mosquitoes away. They work okay. They're not foolproof. I, uh, I know my husband uses them. He spends a lot of time just outside and uh, he'll come back in with a mosquito bite or two. They're very, very strong. The scent is very strong. Not terrible, but um, very strong. Okay. The KVD Studded Kiss lipsticks have great reviews. This is another one that is very difficult for me not to buy. Look at that. Look at it. So pretty. I love lipsticks. I love lip color. Um, and apparently that one's really long lasting. I couldn't find if it's transfer proof though, which is another thing, a requirement of mine for lipstick. I was eyeing this, but this goes back to what I was saying about jewelry. You can find, you can find this on Amazon. This, the same quality materials, also made in China for cheaper, for cheaper than $27. This is where I was talking about, I get offended by the retail price that's listed for these pieces of jewelry. A hundred dollars? What? No, no, no. It can't be. So I looked last time these were available because I do think these are cute and there's a set on Amazon a lot like it for cheaper. So I would do that if I were you and I were eyeing those. I actually have them in my cart and my save for later. I have tried this. This is more agey hair care. Um, and this is really good. I actually though, I prefer their recoil um, over this one for curls. This one is still really good. It's still really good. And I think it might, I feel like it would work great on wavy hair. Like if you have slightly less curly hair, this would look really would work really well, but either one would work really well. I prefer the recoil because I feel like sometimes when I use this one, I can get a stickiness um, to my hair or a stiffness to my hair. But really, I think it just depends on how good of a job I do at putting the product in my hair. They both work really, really well, but I do I do prefer the recoil which is available as a customization in the box this time around. This was so hard to delete from my cart. I love the London town. I love the London town products, their, their nail products. And these are all super cute spring and summer colors. But again, I looked at my nail polish collection and I do not need them. So I dumped them. I, I'm being good. I'm trying to be better. Uh, at these sales, I used to just buy too, too much, and that's why I have a full stock of things. Okay, moving on. Corez, the, um, so people really love Corez. I did, and I still do. They're great. They're a Greek brand. I stopped using them. I really liked their body butter when I first used it. It was amazing, but their body butter, last I checked had a formaldehyde releaser in it. So let's see if I can spot it again in here. Um, I'm not seeing it readily. Let's see. It has a peg. If you care about pegs, they could be bad for us. It has fragrance. Hey, it does. I don't see the I don't see the formaldehyde releaser listed anymore. I check almost every sale when they have it available. And it always has had it, except for I don't see it this time. Well, that's good news. That's good news. So that that's my drawback with Carez, because uh, I love their body butter, but butters, but it always had uh, formaldehyde releasers in it. But again, I didn't see it there. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, I have things to say on this one. So this is a really, really well-loved body cream. It has an actual lotion. It feels amazing. 
I didn't like it because I it says mandarin and rosemary leaves. Some people say they pick up more rosemary than mandarin. I pick up more mandarin. I don't smell any rosemary and it smells like a creamsicle to me and I have learned that I don't like creamsicle scented products. So I had this and I didn't like the scent and I ended up uh, trading it with somebody on the forum. We did a trade. I have not used this body cleanser. Okay, I thought it was the face cleanser for a second and I have used the face cleanser. Um, again, I already talked about Ahava. I haven't used that product uh, though. Let's see what else. Lots of clothes here. Oh, here are the lamps. Some people were saying that they love their lamps that they've gotten and that they come really well packaged. Okay. So that's everything in the add-on sale. I'm going to wrap up this video and then I'm going to film my box customizations separately. So be on the lookout for that video. And if this, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I would love that. Introduce yourself in the comments below and I will see you in my next